Okay, I'm going to make this video because I've been having a lot of issues with this stator. Sent it back to CDI. They sent me this thing saying, tested for kill and kill worked. The orange wire is the kill wire. So, here's our stator. We're going to put it back on this motor. And just to elaborate, this is a 7120 horse Mercury rate. Oh, come on, focus. Right there's the serial number. Now, this kill switch, when you push it, it takes ground away from the stator. So when it's left out like this, it's got ground. When you push it, it does not have ground. It takes ground away. So I'm going to put the stator back in, and we're going to hook it up. Because when I take ground, supposedly, away from this orange wire... It will shut the motor off by killing the stator. We're going to double check it. All the points have been taken care of. So I'm going to put it in. We're going to make a video of it. And we're going to go from there. And if I have to, I can have the boys at CDI watch the video. Okay, just adding to this, I'm getting ready to put the stator in. I wanted to show, focus, the ground wires are hooked up to it. Here's my green and orange. I'm going to get it flipped over here and around. But I'm going to get it put on here a minute, and when I do, I'll get back with you and show you. Brand new CDI, there's the number. We're going to see if what the problem is, if it still has it. Okay, just so we can verify, see the splice? See how they're sitting? That's the stator. There's the numbers. I'm going to put the flywheel on it. And just so everybody knows, that is a CDI stator that came back to us saying they did not find a problem with it. And again, if you look at their manual on this motor, this here is grounded out. So when you take ground away from it, it's supposed to kill the stator. This wire here goes to the coil, which I'm going to put on there now. So I'll keep making this video and we'll see if it works. Okay. I have the wire, orange wire, it's hooked up to the kill switch. Now, like I said, this kill switch, when you push it, takes ground away. So I've got a continuity, if you can hear it buzzing. Okay, so I go up here, hit it, got continuity. Okay, now watch. You probably can hear it. Now I'm gonna push the button. Push the button, we lost continuity. I let go of it, we have continuity. Push the button, we lose it, so we lose ground. Now we have ground. So, and I'm holding it right here. There it's grounded out to the block. Continuity, push the button, no continuity. Continuity, no continuity. That's the way the switch works. So now I hook this up. Well, let me turn it, let it go. When I hook this up, I'm grounding out the stator, which means I should have power. As soon as I take this away from it, it should kill the stator. The motor should die. So I'm going to hook it up, finish hooking the motor together. We're going to put it in a tank and we're going to see if when I push this button and take ground away from this, it should kill the motor. Okay, just to let you know, 
it is all wired in. Green wire is going to the positive side of the coils. There's the CDI. It's grounded. Here's our ground. Uh, you can tell our stator is because we got tired of trying to reach down in there to get that nut off. So I put a slip joint into it. So it should be ready to rock and roll. I do not have this pushed all the way in, as you notice. So if it doesn't work, I can take it off and I can ground it, do whatever I want to show that this stator runs wild. There's no way to take power away from it without putting something in this line to cut the juice going to the coil, which this wire is supposed to do it. So we're going to see. I'm going to put it in a test tank. I am not going to put muffs on it, anything like that. It is going into probably a barrel. Uh, our big test tank right now has a big Yamaha in it, but we'll see. Our barrel is full. Here's our 20 horse. Just so we know, here's the stator that we got back saying it was okay. Still hooked up. In a barrel of water, no moths, so no back pressure. I'm going to fire this thing up here in a minute, and we'll see what it does. Okay. This motor's running, sitting here, running, turn like a top. thing starts right up. Okay, here's our orange wire. If I push this button, it should kill it. Huh, it's still running. I let up, it's still running. Push the button again. Oh, it's still running. Okay, now, according to CDI, there's nothing wrong with this. When I take this apart and get rid of ground, it should die. Why can that orange wire that is supposedly the kill wire not kill the stator? Here it is again, not hooked up to anything. Okay, so now we'll ground it out. Again, nothing, I don't care where you push on this motor. Okay, so let me see if I can kill this motor a minute. Come on, die. Okay. I'm going to keep this wire out here. Same stator. Not even going to hook it up to anything. Just going to let it lie here. Here's the other wire. There's that wire. Okay. I'm going to set the camera down. Well, actually, no. I'm going to just grab a hold of it. I got to hold the motor here a second. It should not fire. It has no ground. Oh! It runs! That's nuts! It shouldn't run according to CDI. Now, here I go again. I'm going to try to flood it out. Come on, die. Come on, you can do it. You can die. Look at this. Still, I'm trying to flood it out. This motor runs great. Come on die there so my question i guess to carl and cdi is let me grab the paperwork here's their fancy box here's the one i sent it back to them in 
Here's the box I got back today. Stator test form. Problem described. At the bottom it says, no problem found. Tested for kill and kill worked. Hmm. Um, CDI. Whoever this tester is, right there, let me see if I can focus. There's the person. Hmm. No problem found. That's funny. Here's your kill wire. Not hooked up. Air on. Come on, die. Die. Come on, Come on die. Okay. Now I'm going to hold the camera here somehow. My phone. Set you right there a second. Just prove it's hooked up. And we have, on this video, we've shown this switch is working fine. Now I'm hooking up. So now the circuit is grounded out. Here we go. Start position. I had to turn the choke off.